Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can create this loop with geometry nodes. So let's get started. Hit Shift A, add a plane, go to geometry nodes and click on new. Delete the group input and add a grid. Set the size to 2.5 and the vertices to 150. To extrude this, let's add an extrude mesh node, add a position node and plug it into the offset scale. Now add a vector rotate node, go here and open the timeline. I'm going to set the frame rate to 60 and the end frame to 100, keyframe the angle and go to frame 101. Now set the angle to 90 and keyframe it. Here press A, T and select the linear. Now let's add a Voronoi texture. Set it from F1 to distance to edge. Plug the distance into the offset scale. Add a vector math node. Duplicate it two times. Set the first one to sine the second one to absolute and the third one to maximum. Add a map range node. Plug the distance into the two maximum. Here let's set the scale to 2.5 and the randomness to zero. Add a set material node. In the material properties, click on new and select the material here. Let's save now. Go to the shading tab. Go to rendered view. I'm going to put the link to the HDI that I'm using in the description. We have to use cycles for this. Set the max samples to 1000. Under color management, set the fusion form to filmic and the look to vary contrast. I'm going to set the strength of the HDI to 0.25, delete the principal BSDF and add a mix shader, add a translucent BSDF, I'm going to make the color a light blue, add a glass BSDF, click on the color and drag it in here, set the factor here to 0.75, add a noise texture, with the noise texture selected press Ctrl T, let's use the object output, plug the factor into the roughness and into the normal here and here, press shift and right click drag over here. Set the scale to 1000, add a bump node, use the height and set the strength to 0.05. Save again and go back to layout node, hit shift A and add a camera, press delete on the numpad and 1 and now 8 free times. Press Ctrl Alt 0, select the camera and press G and set twice to move it on the local set axis and now press G and Y. Add an empty plane axis, press G and shift X and put it here. Add an area light, press G and Z and move it up. Rotate it like this, I'm going to put it here. Now scale it on the X axis, set the power to 125. Now let's go back to camera view and go to rendered view. With the camera selected, go to the object data properties and enable the buff field. Select the empty here, set the F step to 1 and the Blades to 16. Let's save now and press F12. Close this window and go to compositing. Enable use nodes and add a denoise node set to accurate and also enable denoising data here to get these outputs. Press Ctrl Shift and click on the denoise node. Press Shift and right click and drag over here. Add a color balance node. I'm going to make the lift yellow the gamma blue and the gain yellow. Add a mix node. Set the factor to 0.03 and add a texture node. Plug the color into the image here. In the texture properties, click on new. For the type, select clouds and set the size to zero. Now select the texture here. In the output properties, select an output folder. I'm going to use JPEG with the quality set to 100%. If you want, you can go to the render properties, go to performance and enable persistent data. You can also go to render and enable lock interface. Let's save again and press Ctrl F12. Once it's done rendering, close this window and go to video editing, hit Shift A, image sequence, go to the folder where you have the images and press A and enter, select the strip and duplicate it and put it here. Set the end frame to 200. Under color management, the few transform should be set back to standard automatically. Let's set the look to none. In the output properties, under file format, select FFmpeg video. For the container, let's select MPEG4 and set the output quality to high quality. Save again and press Ctrl F12. Feel free to like and subscribe. If you liked this tutorial, then you're probably also going to like the one that is on screen now. I'll see you next time.